My name is Arthur Spiderwick. Many years ago, I discovered an unseen world in the woods around my home. Fascinated, I began to study and document the magical creatures, both friendly and uh, less so. Little did I know that my efforts contained in this field guide would be my very undoing. Years later, my niece, Helen Grace, moved to the estate after a bitter separation. She unwittingly brought her children into a world both fantastical and dangerous. Hopefully, they would not suffer the same fate that befell me and my precious daughter, Lucy. There was Mallory, tough, strong, independent, and the twins, gentle Simon, who inherited my love of animals and mechanics, and Jared, who was angry over his father's betrayal. He got my brash tendency to act before thinking, and my insatiable curiosity. No way I'm going to bed in this creepy house without checking it out first. I'll feel safer carrying this. What the? It's intelligent. Something's in there. What's behind all of that? Hmm, a dumbwaiter. It looks like something's been living inside. Wonder if I could fit. Whoa, a hidden room. I wonder what Uncle Arthur was doing in here. This must open a chest in the top of the... Inside was an old crumbling book. Arthur Spiderwick's Field Guide to the Fantastical World Around You. Jared read through the night and realized the house had a boggart. If he earned the boggart's trust and friendship, it would turn into a loyal brownie. But until then, the boggart would cause nothing but trouble. I've got to find a house to replace the one I busted up in the dumbwaiter. Simon won't miss one of these. This is what I need. This will go nicely on my cracker.
<laughs> this would make a perfect home for the brownie. This makes up for the home I busted in the uh, in the dumbwaiter earlier. Stolen? Oh, you foolish boy! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Must protect the book. Keep it safe from the ogre. I put a note right on the cover. Can't you read? Ogre? What are you talking about? Wait. Maybe this will make you happy. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I'm not falling for that. Oh my, 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 that is so good. Whoa. Thimbletack likes his new house well, but that's not what he's come to tell. Now what's this about an ogre? Mulgarath the ogre wants the field guide. His goblins will take it from your dead hide. Goblins? What? Thimbletack now will help you see. There's more to observe than little me. <laughs> Must now go. This much I know. Go down and... There it is again! Almost got you! Get back to Jared. like me can hide from view to avoid being seen by those like you. Hey, where did you... Oh, there you are. You want to find a better way to hold it on to your face, I'd say.
Simon, I need a favor. Yeah, well, I need tips off the roof. He's up. I could get him down if I have. Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> Mr. Tibbs, come back! He's down. A deal's a deal. I need you to make something I can use to wear this stone. What, like a necklace? No, I need to hold it on my eye. Oh, fine, whatever. Oh, give me the rock. I'll build you something to hold it on your head as long as you take your stupid stone and leave me alone. The lens assembly will hold the stone in place. Okay, this is kind of cool. Uncle Arthur had a secret hideaway. I can use these frames to construct... Stupid brother. Ridiculous rock. Huh. That ought to do it. Ah, now to find that darn cat. It's done. I left it in that room you- Huh, thanks. The unseen world could now be easily seen. Both its wonders and its dangers. The monsters were after the book, and Jared knew he had to do something. I gotta help him! Wait! Of the woods you must be wary. First, you must find and catch a health fairy. Come again? Near the front gate is a leather-winged sprite. He will heal the wounds of a goblin's bite. Okay. Catch Hell Sprite near front gate, then rescue Simon in the woods. Got it. I bet I could catch that Hell Sprite with... Gotcha. Cool. Gotcha.
I'm back on the old road. I can make these jumps if I'm careful. There's the road again. There's a fuse box nearby. The circuit is now complete. I bet I can do some damage with... Yes, now I can get across. Genius, up here! Oh, great, a talking goblin. Hobgoblin to you! Goblins are the scum of the earth, serving ogres, doing their bidding, and this particular ogre killed my family, and I'm here on a mission to destroy him. But you're stuck in a cage. Minor setback. You looking for the other fella? The one that looks just like you? You've seen Simon? Where is he? Caged up, just like me. What do you say we help each other out? Well, let me out of here and I'll free him for you. Deal? How? I can't reach you. There's a doohickey up in the tree. Loosen it to lower me down. Nailed it. Thanks, kid. Now, I'll free your brother and tell him to meet you back at the river. Wait. Give him this. So he can see the goblins. Yeah, 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 sure, whatever. I, uh, but before I do, look at me, kid. <laughs> oh! Oh, God. Uh, what was that for? Now you can see the unseen world without the stone. Have fun! I don't, I don't have it, but I, I know where it is. If I, if I bring it to you, then you'll leave us alone? You have my word. Red Cap, follow him. When he gives you the book, kill him. Kill them all. Ow! Die!
Hey, boy number two, here's a gift from boy number one. Oh, the monocle. But where's Jared? He's gonna meet you at the river. That thing said he'd let us go if we gave him the book that Jared took. Hmm. And you're supposed to be the smart one. <laughs> that ogre will eat you and your family for dinner as soon as he gets his claws on that book. What should I do? I don't even have a weapon. My suggestion? Run! hungry too. Did your brother leave you? Come see me. I won't desert you. What's happening? I tried to tell you. They're after this book. There might even be an ogre. There is. He's pretty upset with... <gasps> Run! I'll protect you! You better!
We'll be safe inside the toadstool ring. We'll be safe inside the toadstool ring. Toadstools protect the house. They can't get through. Help! Go find her! Quick! Mel need you! What's going on? Jared! What's happening? Help me! Here, put this on your eye. Fuck! Oh, help! Get Woo! away from him! Now do you believe me? Can someone please tell me what's going on? You haven't seen anything yet. There's a bigger one out there somewhere. Yeah, we're safe here inside the toadstool circle. That there's an ogre that wants Arthur's field guide. The book I found. If they get it, it'll be unstoppable. We've got to destroy the book then. We'll burn it up. Usually I'd object, but I think you're right. I saw a page about fire salamanders. I'll catch one. We can use that to burn it. Good idea. Here, take my bat. No thanks. I also read about a few things I can use to make a weapon of my own. This is what I need for maximum coverage. <laughs> Duct tape. I need it. Huh, this could help thicken my concoction. Just what I need. Salt will be a key ingredient. This will be my gun barrel. A bike pump will provide pressure for my splatter gun. The acidic component is poison to the goblins. Perfect. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Jared placed the book in the burning barrel. The ogre was enraged. But the flames had no effect.
Aunt Lucinda. She could help. And Hog Squeal knew how to find her. You want to see Lucinda, huh? You need to get into town, and I just happen to know a shortcut. Where? There are tunnels from the cellar. Old Mr. Spiderwick used them to get into town. They'll take you right there. But the cellar's locked. It just so happens that I have a map showing precisely where Arthur hid the key. <laughs> it's a treasure map. Jared, I'm gonna need your help. Dig up that key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Why didn't he just say the key was five steps from the cellar? Oh, <laughs> 
patrol was in close pursuit, and Jared had nowhere else to hide. But the beast was unfamiliar with the dangers of a city street. Jared and his siblings found Lucinda's room at the sanitarium and met their great aunt. They had found a confidant who knew about the unseen world. Lucinda's sprites had told her that I was still alive. She explained that my pet griffin would help them find me. Before they left, she gave them a toy jack and instructed them to return it to her old friend Thimbletack. What is that hideous thing? His name is Thimbletack. He's a brownie, except when he's angry, then he becomes a boggart. Goblins are here, and all because you took the book out there and practically waved it in their faces. You little twerp! Okay, please tell me this is the angry version. The field guide says honey calms them. You let them have that book, and I'll bite your neck! Oh, honey! If they get the book, something bad will happen? You die, I die, we all die, bye-bye. Aunt Lucinda gave us this to give to you. Oh, Lucy, Lucy, a precious girl. Thanks for the jack, I'll give it a whirl. Wait, what are you doing? We're supposed to look for Arthur's griffin. Yes, Byron, a trusty steed. But before you reach him, there's something you need. Must now go, this much I know! Ha! I can... <laughs> Jump while turning, for success I am yearning! I sh... for the right moment. Yeah. With speed I go on this wire to and fro. Gotta find it, gotta find, find, find. is fun to do. That silly green paper. Hm, I wonder what it's for. <laughs> the Embracorn! Have what I need. Back to the kids with speed.
The tree folk respond to this little charm. They will whisk you away without any harm. The tree folk will take us to the griffin? First, he must be called with a spell. The field guide has a page that will tell. Oh, I think the goblins got that page. That book must be secure. It will be. <laughs> Are you sure? The goblins probably took the pages to the quarry. That's their base of operations. Okay, I'm going to do something about that.
Ugly coward. What's this? It looks like a spell. A way to summon the griffin. Grip, grab, greep. Nifgri, eras, eralk, seek. Echop, sert, yert, yerak. I'm as, I am nif. Wow, cool pet. Lucinda's acorn. We gotta find a match for that tree. I'm on it. Under Simon's gentle hand, the griffin accepted the grace children and carried them away to a hidden glade. appeared before them, untouched by time. The songs of the sylph had kept me from aging and realizing that my little girl had grown into an old woman. 
I alerted the children that Mulgrath had learned to break the mushroom spell. The defenses would fall with the rise of the moon, and anyone or anything inside the house was in grave danger. As long as the secrets within the field guide were threatened by Mulgrath, I would be trapped in time. Grace children were home. For now, they were safe within the circle. They found their mother inside and introduced her to the fantastical world and the horrors surrounding them. Time was short. The attack would begin soon. Arthur said they'll break through the toadstools when the moon rises. We don't have much time. Okay, what do we do? The concoction I made seems to work on them pretty well. We should set a trap in the oven. Mom, I'll show you what to do. The right mixture at the right temperature should be deadly. Here they come. We'll hold them off while you finish this up. Good work. Oh, my God. 
Get over here! Yeah, what a disaster! You'll be dead if you don't move your butt right now! nowhere else to flee, and Mulgarath knew it. Jared did the only thing he could. He tossed the field guide high into the air. Mulgarath leapt after it. The book was his. But the one thing greater than Mulgarath's hunger for the book was hog squeals craving for birds. The family was safe. And the field guide was back in good hands. Hey, what's this? Nailed it.
Here comes the pain. This ought to hurt. Bingo.